will of God, the power of God asks me to tell you that all your problems are over in Jesus' name. Yeah. If you get here today, expecting your miracles, you shall come to pass in Jesus' name. Yeah. If you are expecting your miracles today, I say you shall come to pass in Jesus' name. Yeah. In Jesus' name. Yeah. And if you know that I am going to bless many of you, and I talk to those of you who are in need of miracles. And the power of God is going to be with you, and you're going to bless you. I hope they're all fine. Hmm? So, we married you for my son. Just come and welcome me and ask about the people in the village. Hmm? You should be ashamed of yourself. Huh? It should be my grandchildren who should be welcoming me. And not you. Not you at all! Mama, I only welcomed you. This is not fair. Ten years in a marriage without a child. Not even a sign. To show that the situation will change. And you expect fairness from me? My dear, you must be very stupid. Mama, it's God that gives children. Then your God has deserted you. Huh? And the son, whatever you have given to my son, that makes him refuse to take another wife, will soon fail you also. His eyes will be open and we will throw you out because your plan of sending me to my grave without seeing my grandchildren will not succeed. I assure you it will not.
Presentation. She's due already. She has been in labor for the past three hours. Oh, it's okay. Madam, how strong do you feel? Um, I'm getting weak. Very weak, doctor. Oh. Madam, you will, you will have to come down, okay? You see? No more delivery. It's absolutely impossible right now. So we will have to perform a um, cesarean of you. Get the tether ready. Then I see if we can get Dr. Soji on the Look, by the time Dr. Soji comes back from wherever he has gone to, this woman will be heading for the mortuary. And I will not let that happen. I will have to perform the CNS myself. No, Dr. Philip, no. You know you're not qualified to do that. You're just an intern. I mean, you will put in the professional competence of this hospital into serious questioning if anything goes wrong. There are plenty of things will go wrong if this woman dies. And it's our professional obligation to prevent that. You don't think that I will allow you to put the integrity of this hospital at risk because of your little adventure? I see. If saving a woman's life is an adventure, then get set. Because you won't enjoy this ride because I will have to do what I want to do. Dr. Philip, I won't let you do that, Dr. Philip. No, you can't just do that, Dr. Philip. Are you the husband of the woman? Yes, doctor, I am. I'll be very brief. Your wife is not doing very well, and your baby's position is very bad, so we will have to perform um, a caesarean operation on her, immediately. Operation? Yes. No. Look, at this point, it's a touch and go situation. One mistake could lose both mother and child. What do we do, doctor? Um, you do well, nothing until you satisfy Dr. Combs. And you, Dr. Philip, I warned you that I wouldn't take this nonsense. What is going on here? Who is this woman? I am the certified midwife in this hospital. And I stand to say that this boy here cannot, I mean, he is not qualified to operate on your wife. Um, Mr. Edward Johnson. Edward Johnson. Yeah. This is complex. You see, I am an intern. You may call it an apprentice doctor if you, if, you, if you want. But, at this point, I am the only hope you have to save your wife and unborn child. At this point, they are trading between life and death. And you have just three minutes, three minutes to make that decision. And you will sign the concept paper that will allow me to operate on your wife. And I'll save them both. But if you don't, if you don't, the game is over. There is nothing, nothing I can do about it. Mr. Philip, please, don't drag me into any mess. What kind of thing is this? Mr. Johnson, I'm waiting. Fate of my wife and my unborn child blessed in your hands. <laughs> good, 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 good. I will sign the consent paper now. Good, good, good. Um, no, sir. Take him, take him to sign the consent paper and get him back. Dr. Philip, I will let you do this. This is madness. Good. Well, it's out of your hands now. Excuse me. Excuse me. 
Excuse you. Blood pressure? No, Master. Hold some temperature. No, Master. Madam. Yes, Doctor. You have to relax, okay? Take it easy. Don't be scared. Yes, Doctor. Do you believe in God? Yes, Doctor. Okay. Pray for us both because we both need this help. Hmm? Um, I'm Mr. Diana Steffi Hello. Just a pain in the little end. Just some time to feel pain, right? Sorry, 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 sorry. Don't worry, it'll be over soon. Sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry, sorry. This will happen a little. After I do. Sorry, so you feel okay, right? Sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. 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 I just got your message. Where's oh, my sister? Lucy, thank God you're here. Your sister is in the theater, struggling with life, which I cannot guarantee. She is. I'm afraid. No, Uncle Johnson. Don't speak negatively, okay? Yes, she didn't die in labor at home. She will not die again. At least not now. You think so? I can assure you by the special message of God and we'll soon see God's mother and child. I'll be praying, I'll be praying. God is in control, it's okay. Take it easy, okay? Mrs. Johnson, congratulations. <laughs> you have a baby girl. Both mother and child are fine, okay? Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, doctor. Ah, thank you, Jesus. Oh, my God. Thank you. Please, can I see them now? Uh, no, you won't be able to see her now. She's still under anesthetic for now. So, um, but when it wears off, you'll be able to see her. But her condition is very stable. They've got to wash your baby. So in the next 10 minutes, you'll see your baby. Thank, Thank you very much, Doctor. You're welcome. Thank you. Oh, I'm glad. Lucy, at last. Thank you very Ooh. much, Doctor. Thank you God continues to strengthen your elbow. Oh, my God, Lucy. Yeah. Oh, God. Doctor. Thank you very much. Thank you once more. Oh, oh the heaven. Oh my God. Go back to your office. Can you believe this? I can't believe this. And what was the clapping all about? You mean you left your duty for just to clap? It's like you're insane. But you can get out from this place before I descend on you. Fool. Son, you sound exhausted. <laughs> Mother, you can't believe this. I just performed my first CNS operation. Both mother and child, they're all fine. Oh, my boy. <laughs> Congratulations. Oh, dear. Yes, boy. So, how do you feel now? Accomplished, exhausted, and um, stressed out. I know the feeling. I know. Just hurry home. Let's celebrate, okay? Okay. I will see you later then. All right, bye, mother. Love you. Father, I have come on my knees in prayers again. Jehovah, you said there shall be none barren in our midst. Father, you said that we should leave our parents and cling to our husbands and multiply. That is your word, Jehovah, and I hold on to it. Mighty in battle, let the cry of a baby be heard in this house. Jehovah, Shabbat, Jehovah, listen. Let the cry of a baby be heard in this house. Jehovah, hear my plea. Father, Lord, I call down your holy now, call down your power. Elohim and Adonai, you are 
had the air and they may come down near by Christ. How can God hear your cries? When you have given birth to all your children in the spirit world, eh? How? Mama. Mama. I beg you, Mama. Please. I am making a petition with my God. I don't need your ransom. Favor. You open that gutter you call him out. To say that I'm ranting, eh? Hmm. Ten years in a marriage. I'm not like with it without a child. And when I talk, you say I'm ranting, eh? You have nothing ranting at all! I will bring enough water to this house. There will be no way in my house. There will be no way in my house, Mama. There will be no way in my house, Mama. There will be no way in my house, Mama. There will be no way in my house, what is the meaning of all these shouts that is so ungodly around oh, the night? No, there is plenty to shout about. If the two of you are in agreement to send me to my grave without seeing my grandchildren, <laughs> then <laughs> you are both mistaken. And whatever she has given me to agree with her, you must permit it. Enough of this, Mama. Enough. <laughs> it is not enough. Oh. My only child, Ufukula Nyadisogo, wrapped under a woman's hair. <laughs> hey, not when I'm still alive. <laughs> this war has just begun. <laughs> and I will advise the people of you to get ready for it. Because I will fight for that of this time. Even if it is last thing you do, I assure you that. Oh God, where are you? Oh God, where are you? God, where are you? Please go and answer me, Father. Oh, Father, Lord, please answer me. I'm tired. I'm tired. Oh, God, don't leave me. Leave me. I want to go to a summit. Where is God? Leave me. It's okay. Stop this, please. Father. It's okay. It's okay. Please, stop. Oh, God. Oh, God. Stop. 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 So you and Daddy have been waiting for me to have dinner together with you guys. Yes. Queen, to celebrate your remarkable feat as a family. Dad, both of you are simply unbelievable. I mean, the best a child could ask for. But I'm sorry, I'm really sorry for keeping you guys today. Just that I needed to finish everything I'm doing in the hospital. We understand. We understand. Let's, let's, let's go. The me. food is getting cold. My God. You know what? My favorite. I can't wait. You don't have to worry. And don't you be afraid. Joy comes in the morning. Oh, trouble that will last always. For there's a friend in Jesus. Who will wipe your tears away. The word peace has eluded my home for the past 10 years now. Humiliation, shame and pain have been my daily companions. The glimmer of hope I have is the love of my husband. But after 10 years in marriage and still no child to show for it, am I not stretching the limits of this love? How much more can my loving husband take for my sake? How much more? God, please, hear my cries. Please, I can't take it anymore.
since um since I've seen this face before. I mean, uh, a relative. Are you a relative to one of my patients? I mean, Mr. Johnson. Are you a relative to him? Doctor Philip. Oh yes, that's it. <laughs> Good afternoon. So, where are you going to? I'm going to get my clothes from Etola down that lane. Oh, really? Yes. Okay, in that case, let me drop you off then. Send for me, sir. Sir, I can explain. There's nothing to explain. Sir. Brave and courageous of you. But, sir. These are the kind of critical decisions we expect you to take. Risky, crazy, but courageous. And that's why you are here. I know the MD will be so happy, very happy, to hear this when he comes back from abroad. Thank you very much, sir. I'm grateful, sir. Thank you. Just keep the good job going. Okay, sir. Feel it, feel it. Hey, my main man, man Romano. How are you doing, man? Wow, when did you come to town? Oh, just came back two days ago. I've been calling your number, but it's not been connecting. Oh, wow. Uh, I'm sorry, you know. It's just that I've been very, very busy. And perhaps things have been very hectic for me here in the hospital. And you know, I'm the only gynecologist doctor they have. But anyway, how was your trip to Abuja? Oh, boy. See me. You can't believe that those people defied my coming to general next year. Look at me, a young man, supplying the whole government ministries, computers, and other equipments for a year now. And they keep tossing me around. I mean, how fair can that be? But this is ridiculous. Philip, what's more ridiculous is that they said no money, but they keep spending billions of naira on furniture allowances of some politicians, some jokers who said they're representing us. Oh, man, I. At this country, I'm sick and tired, honestly. Oh, come on, you have to calm down. Just calm down, okay? Um, January is just six months away. You, you will survive it. You won't die. Just come on, share up, share up, share up, okay? Let, let me, I think I should just take you out. Give you some booze. So that your spirit will be high, isn't it? Come on. You think you can do that? Let's do that, let's do that. I can't wait to see this. Uh, nice to see you again, brother. Oh, mm -hmm. It's a big brother. Auntie. Where is that? Mama is in the kitchen. What is she doing in my kitchen? She's cooking. What? Mama, what's the meaning of this? Eh? I'm cooking for my son as you can see. At least, whatever you put in his food will not enter this one. Mama? Mama? You have been giving me hell over children issues in this house. And now you have invaded my kitchen. Mama, you are going too far. Oh. You are going too far, Mama. So you are getting angry. You can't even provide me a grandchild. And you have the nerves to get angry. I just took over your kitchen. The next is your bedroom. And I will throw you out of it. And allow a fertile woman to come and do the job for you. You can't do it. I said you can't do it! 
I can't do it. Don't tell me! But mama, listen, just listen. I've respected you enough in this house. If you dare extend your control anywhere near my bedroom, huh? You will bring out the beast in me. And I can assure you, you would like what you will see. Eh? In my own son's house, you now threaten me. No, 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 no. I don't issue threats. I make promises. And trust me, I keep my promises. Try any nonsense near my bedroom. I will forget that you are my mother-in-law and treat you as an enemy, which it seems you are. to a guy who just walked into the space. Because he's a kind person. Look, Lucy, this guy is a doctor who saved your sister's life. And so? He was only doing his job. I think you should give him a chance. I can't. Yes. I, 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 I don't know. I don't know how to, you want me to just get used to it. I, I can't do it. Just give him a chance. Hello? Yeah, good afternoon, Dr. Philip. Yes. Oh, sorry, actually, I was pretty busy then. Yes. All right. Where exactly? I can't give you a promise. I, I can't promise you on that. I, I can't give you a promise. Look, don't you think this is too soon? I... Okay. I, I, I... Love you. Jesus, what have I gotten myself into? I just hope I, 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 I did the right thing because. Look. Yes, it's okay. Okay. It's okay, right? Yeah. It's okay. It had better be okay. It's okay. Was a nervous breakdown. If you don't stop this night prayers of yours, Vincent, let me cry. Let me cry. I'm falling apart. I'm losing my sanity. I don't think I can go on anymore. Try. Try, try to calm down. Yes, of course. Is that what you are trying to tell me to calm down? When a volcano is about to erupt right under me. Mama has turned this house into a war zone. And I hate to admit that she's she has a point there. Because if I wear her shoes, I'll do the same. If not worse. Oh, sweetheart, crying your heart out will not solve anything. This is not just your problem, it's mine too. You know I love you, and nothing can change that. Vincent, love cannot drown the truth. The fact remains that I have not been able to give you a child. And that means plenty to worry about. 
the only solution to this problem is let's just tackle all these issues with unity of heart. That's the only solution. I'm tired. I'm tired. Please hold me. It's Please okay. hold me. It's okay. It's okay. Honorable sir, from the test carried out on both of you, and from what I have from my medical files, says that there is absolutely nothing wrong with both of you. Both of you are capable of having children. Dr. Phillips, we have had such assurance from countless of doctors, but up to now there is no child. Well, there are several factors that can affect a woman and prevent her from conceiving which can be anxiety, stress, pressure. Anything that agitates her will definitely affect her psychologically, which is the only bigger threat. But doctor, things are getting out of hand. Love ones are getting agitated. I no longer find any funny at all. I have tried everything at my own best. Okay, um, this is where you will have to calm down. Calm down and allow nature to take its absolutely course. Okay? Um, but I will still run uh, more tests on her. But certainly, I can assure you, there is nothing wrong with your wife. It's okay. Not Just do anything at best. I will try my best. And hey, madam, you still have to come around again for another test again. Okay, doctor. Okay. So you take care for now. Alright. And bye. Have a nice day. Thank you too. I'll finish it all. But I'll buy you Spider Man. <laughs> So when we go in, show me your books, eh? Mwah.
Mommy? Mommy? What are you hiding? Nothing. I saw you hiding something. Yeah, you're telling me nothing. Yeah, tell me. What was it? What was it? No, let me, no, no, no. Let me no. see, Mommy. Let me see. Where is it? <laughs> oh, it's a picture. It's a picture, Mommy. <laughs> <laughs> mommy. You don't seem to amaze me. What's the big deal about this picture? Tell me. What's the big deal? wonderful job for me. Everything that is good in me today comes from you and dad. And I couldn't have asked for more than that. Mommy, I will always remember that. Always. And I love you, mother. I love you so much. <laughs> I love you too. I'll do anything. Thank you, Mother. How was work today? Yeah, work was fine and um, could have been better. I'd like to hear that. Okay, let me go freshen up and then I'll join you back, okay? It's okay. Okay? Yeah. I want to serve you your food myself. That's all right, Mother. <laughs> That's all right. Okay. Okay, come on, let me have my picture back. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Mama went to Jerusalem two, two weeks ago. Yes, so, but she insists on going to this year's pilgrimage again. She says Jerusalem affords her the opportunity for sober reflection and spiritual cleansing. <laughs> Reverend Mrs. Indigwe. Mm -hmm. oh, sometimes that woman amazed me. Thanks for this drink. Oh. Hmm. So, tell me what's happening in your life. Favor! Favor! Mama! Mama, I'm coming now, eh? This is your ever-looking young mother-in-law. She's always looking very young. Meanwhile, she's very old. Old woman. Is it not her son's money? Is her son's money now? If she lies, he can even be 15 years younger than this. Huh? So, Favor... Favor, it has gotten to this, eh? Hmm... <laughs> I guess this is the only thing you can do perfectly. Gossip. And you, since you cannot be able to get a husband of your own, you go about, even at night, preventing other people from taking care of their husbands. At your age, you should be ashamed of yourself. Agadio Cuenca. Favor. What is the meaning of this? Please, okay. please, for my sake, eh? Daphne, please. Please. You're asking her. Now I believe the saying that pastors' children usually turn out to be the worst. Hmm? When they are this preaching and converting others, the devil is busy ravaging their homes and their children. At least. Two of you are a perfect example. Mamba! Mama, you can insult me or no problem. You can even walk up to me and slap me. No big deal. But if you insult my family, Mama! Mama, if you insult my family! Hey! Hey! Trust me, Mama. You won't like me. In fact, you will feel me. I'm not going to sit and listen to this garbage. That Sis, if this is what you have to put up with, I don't tell you. Yeah. I'm okay. going. Okay, please let me see. What are you going to do? That's the thing. And you'll come back. So, Honorable uh, Mrs. Fibo, at least the result shows that both of you are medically fit to bear children. But, Honorable, if the pleasure at home is too much, take your wife on a holiday. Take her to Europe, America, or Caribbean. 
to win the right mood. And I can show you, children will come. Okay? It's all right, Dr. Phillips. You are good. You're welcome. Sorry. Mother! <laughs> I brought your food. I know it's all work, 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 and no food. <laughs> You're full of surprises, isn't it? <laughs> Honorable, this is my mother, Mrs. Henrietta is it the number? And this is one. Hot. Can you tell me what's going on here? Why did you see the woman I took off as she has seen a ghost? I don't have time to talk about this now. Can you take me home, please? Mother! You just acted as if you've seen a ghost. It's okay. I'm fine. No food. Are you sure, Mom? her heart. Something is definitely wrong. There is nothing wrong. Why did you see that woman and run away as if you have seen a ghost from the past? Favor. Do I look like a baby to you? Evelyn, I've already told you there is nothing wrong. I thought she's someone I, I, I knew before, but I was wrong. I don't know why you're putting me through all this question and answer session. I saw you staring at the city for a long time. And now you're picking at your food. Please talk to me. What is it in you? What is it? I saw a fever. What? Where? When? I finished I saw both of them together. And you did not tell me all this why. I did not want to aggravate anything. You, you know you know I'm feeling very well. So, deciding to keep it to yourself and bear it alone is the perfect solution. I don't know. He didn't 
see anything either. I favor and I did not help the matter I knew better. Uh -oh. It's nothing. We arouse suspicion with our action. about uh, when he starts asking questions I have no answers to. Oh God, Cliff. I'm scared. No, no, relax. No need for that. God will take care of this situation himself. I don't want to lose you. Mother, I saw Madame Hereta and the boy. My son, He's now a doctor. And I've even heard him call her mommy. Oh my God. My God. After so many years. Are you sure what you're saying? I'm sure, Mother. He's the doctor we went to see in the hospital about my problem. He even introduced her, Madame Hereta, to us. My husband and I, even if he's the real boy, then there is problem. I don't care what that problem is. I want my son back. Honey, what I'm saying is that even if you didn't see them, there's still a problem. You know, we had an agreement, a covenant. You had the agreement that you want me. Don't even miss me to it. I was young, I wasn't even consulted. So whatever agreement or covenant you, you entered into is not binding on me. I want my son back. It is not as easy as it sounds. It is, it is, it is, it is more complicated. Then uncomplicated, Father. Uncomplicated. That boy is the only one that can restore my pride again. He's the only one that can make me a woman. He's the only one that can stop the laughing and cheering around me. I understand how you feel. Nobody understands how I feel. I can't have a son out there and still suffer. He's my son and I want him back. <laughs> Daddy, she has a point there. She can't suffer because of her decisions. So please, Danny, we have to help. We have to help her out. Two of you are not going to send me to an place. I won't allow that to happen. He's my son. And I must have him. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Yeah, how are you? Fine, sir. Is uh, Clifford and his wife in? Yes, sir. Okay, we want to see them.
Bishop, oh, brother, Clifford. This is indeed a pleasant surprise. God bless you, my brother. Ah, for the weekend of time. Yes. You're very welcome. Welcome, sir. Welcome, sir. Welcome, sir. You're welcome. Please, man, sit down. Ah. Yeah. Oh, this is wonderful. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> <clears throat> they say when the prophets of God visit a man, they should be given a reception due for a prophet. Nkiru! Nkiru ka! Brother Clifford, please uh, leave entertainment for now. We are here for a more pressing issue. I hope all is well. All will be well in Jesus' name. Amen. The only thing that matters is um, the understanding, the selflessness, and uh, the willingness to be reasonable. Let me go straight to the point. Years back, you and your beautiful wife rendered an unforgettable service to me, to my family, and to my ministry. We have come to thank you for the assistance you rendered to our boy. And that hard as it sounds, we've also come to tell you that the real mother of that boy, my daughter, is desirous of having her son back. But before that happened... That can never happen! It can never happen! Philip is my son and you can never take him away from me! It's okay. You cannot! It's never! Okay. It's okay. Hey! It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. My God! Bishop, I am still trying to remember. What you are saying goes contrary to what we are creating for. I know. I know, Brother Clifford. You see, recent events have compelled us to do this. I know that you are not going to let go of him easily. On the strength of that, as a token of my appreciation for all you've done for him, I have a uh, prepared a check of 20 million but I know it is not enough to compensate for all the love, for all the care that you have invested in him over the years. But like I said, it is a token and uh, more it shall come. You can never, never buy my son away from me. Not even if you have all the money in the central bank. You cannot. Now leave my house. Leave my house! It's okay, it's okay. Be sure. When you entered my home, it didn't look like we are hungry. Imagine. When we did what we did, we did it for two reasons. Yes. One, to save the life of an unborn child. Unborn child. Huh? And two, to solve the problem of our childlessness. Oh. Financial reward was never in our minds. So please don't insult us by offering us money. I still respect you as a man of God. And I will implore you to please respect the covenant you entered into. And that is that you and your family have relinquished all rights to that boy, to us forever. Forever! Forever! But our daughter was not part of the agreement, nor is the agreement attached to it binding to her. That agreement was between you both and us. Our daughter is never part of it. You are a pathological liar. Liar of all ages. Risa! It's alright. 
Honey, you want me to sit down and watch her sit there and lie? A Reverend Mrs. A woman of God. Reverend Mrs. Jesus. Rita. Oh. Out of my house. Tell her to leave my house. Oh. Leave my house now. Please. Oh. I'm afraid you have to go now. You people are asking for too much. Hey. And you can see the effect. Leave the house. Leave. 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 Just leave. Leave now. Brother Tiffany, we are going. But before we leave, um, I will drop this check on the table. If you change your mind, please call me. We can never change our mind. Take your useless bloody money out of my house and get out. Honey, try not to leave before I do something funny. Leave my house.
your BP widget is rising to the top. What are you thinking about? Come on, mother. You know I don't want anything to happen to you. Okay? You mean you don't want anything to happen to me? Of course. Why are you asking me all these questions? Philip, you're my son. Nothing can change that. Yes, of course. And you really mean you don't want anything to happen to me? Yes, I promise. Promise? And you know I do. Henrietta. She, she wants to kill me because of Philip. And who is Philip? Favor. Who is Philip? Philip. Dr. Philip of St. Patrick Hospital. I mean, he's my son. <sighs> I gave birth to him when I was just 15 years. And in secondary school then. Tell you. When? Uh, On my dead bird? I see when I'm about to die. Then please. I I gave birth to him and he was given away. I was I, I was I was going to tell you all this. Fever. I have defended you. To buy you all true. Not knowing you have a son somewhere. Oh God. Vin, please. I'm sorry, okay? I am truly sorry, but I said I was going to tell you. Favor. I'm sorry, Vin. I don't believe you. I don't believe this is you talking. Vin! Please, I'm sorry. I said I was going to explain everything to you, please. Zin, please can you come back? I'm truly sorry, Zin! Zin! Zin, the others have spoken and they have gone. Now it's between you and I. Whatever Favor did, she did it to protect her marriage. I'm a woman. I know what she's going through. I know, sister. Sister, I know. Haven't I done enough for her to trust me with such a secret? Haven't I stood by her? How can she have the heart to conceal anything from me? I want you to know that a woman's marriage is like her temple. She protects it with love, devotion, and sometimes what people might consider a lie. But it's not right. Please try and forgive your wife. Take a look at her. 
She's a total wreck. Give her back her life, please. What do you intend to do next? My parents have approached his guidance for an amicable settlement, but they refused. They are holding on to him so tight, but I am ready to fight with my last blood if need be. What do we do now? I am being forced to do the most difficult thing. Most difficult thing? Bishop Cornelius Ndibe, the General Overseer of uh, God's Grace Ministries International. I know you very well, sir. Um, despite my tight schedule, I am an um, ardent viewer of your television program, Hours of Wisdom. <laughs> Thank you very much. That is good to hear. It also lends credence to the fact that my presence in your office as man of God, it speaks volume. Oh, <laughs> no doubt, sir. No, no doubt at all. Um, this is my wife, Rita. And uh, this is my daughter, Favor. I know Mrs. Ike very well. But Bishop, if uh, this is about, about her treatment... Oh, no, 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 no. no. Uh, our visit to this place is much more than that. Um, tell me, Bishop, where are all these talks leading to? <laughs> As I said earlier, my presence in your office means that whatever we have to say here is the whole truth. It is um, hard to say, but um, favor my daughter here sitting in front of you is your true and biological mother. Question your integrity. But coming into my office and making such claims is absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely. Doctor, would a man of my caliber just walk into your office to make frivolous claims? <laughs> I, I mean, I, I, I don't know. I mean, you, you, you tell me. I mean, you tell me. I mean, I, I, I left home this morning with my mother bidding me goodbye kiss. And here you are telling me that this woman sitting in front of me is my mother. Ah, come on, Bishop. How hard can that be comprehend? Oh, yes, Phillips. I'm your mother. You are my son. Don't even go there. Don't even go there. Why don't you ask Madam Harriet and her husband? I'm your true mother, Phillips. You're my son. Please. How did you come about this? How? It all started when I was in secondary school. You must hear me out, my son. Please. Please. <laughs> Look at the time now. Wait, it's not my fault. 
Who's poison? I told you what I told you. Sorry. Right, 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 right. That is the girl I've been talking about. She's the one. That girl? Yes. Man, check out her physique now. Man, SK. That girl on her SU. As in? SU. Proper scripture union girl. And her father is a pastor. And do you think she's going to give in? I know these pastor's daughters can be very stubborn. Right. I don't care if her father is a pastor, pope, or even bishop for all I care. See that girl. I must get that girl. She for this school. Me, SK. I've never doubted your words, man. Let's see. But I assure you, man, it's you and Indian visitors. Right. Relax, eh? You guys should relax and see her reactions to my action. Share for this one. You'll see now. Let's see. Yeah. Who is that? Come in, come in, come in, come in. Hey. Let's see. Right. I hope you you you've come here with something I want to yeah. listen to. Abba, Abba. Ah. <laughs> Calm down. Um, I have some information for you concerning the girl. Yeah. Um, her name is Fever. Fever. Uh -huh. You mean the girl? Hey, the girl now. Fever. Man, signs of good things to come. For you for you for tell me now, man. Flow, flow. Um. Yeah. Just as I said earlier. She is the daughter of one prominent pastor somewhere in town and therefore very religious. She has just two friends, um, one Sandra and Evelyn. And you know how they are now, like bread, butter and jelly, always together. Right, right. It's key. Right, right. Take five, take five. Maybe too much. Sorry. What a brilliant research. At least now I can move in for a better kill. And you see why I see me get these details now. Oh, eh? for you. I you see. Bad man, a bad man. <laughs> SK, what on earth is going on in that devious mind of yours? Come on, Bright. Eh? You know I like this girl very much. Why are you like this now? SK, you like the girl. Is it the girl you like or that thing in between her legs? Eh? I know you better than you know yourself now. SK, Abba, it's not you again. You won't hear my mouth or you want to see my reaction. Man, Man I told you I like this girl very much. Eh? I make you. Make you not be the one she said who will stop me. If Abba. Abba. SK, man, sorry, man, sorry, man. I didn't mean to, like, <clears throat> I didn't mean to say anything wrong. Have fun, Abba. You don't have vex any house. Don't worry yourself. Smile, smile, smile for me, babe. You know you're beautiful. Good. Take it, take it. Good girl. Alright. Wow. Good, 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 good today. Thank you. <laughs> now smile, smile. Good afternoon. What's up, girl? Okay? Your pictures. All right. So how are you now? I'm fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let me come. Just check for it, girl. All right. All right, girl. Take it. Good, good. Take it, take it. Powerful. Wow. Ah. Oh, that's nice. I'm going to push it here. Alright. Wow. Are you true? Yes, Have I'm true. Have you seen them? Give me an image. Put it back in the picture. Yeah, fine. So how much is it? Mm, I think it's about 280. Yeah. Okay. Oh, don't worry, girl. Your bill has been settled. And your money has been paid. My money paid? Yeah. By who? Um, says he's a friend. A friend? Yeah. Um, what's up? Say in two, three this time, okay? Hey! You don't want to join us in prep all again. Don't you want to leave? No, now I went to collect my picture. Let me see. Wait, wait, see. Ah. Fever, these your pictures are fine. I see. Let me see. Very fine. Good. Thank you. Give them to me. Yes, I will. Oh, the girl is fine. Thank you. Sandra. Yes. Something strange is happening to me in this school. Hey, what? What, what is, is it? Somebody is going around paying for my expenses. 
it isn't funny now. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Girl, aren't you lucky that someone is paying for your expenses? Oh my god. <laughs> Instead of you to be thanking God for your good fortunes, you're here wondering. I should be jubilating. That whole faceless person or peasants is going around paying for my bills. It isn't funny. Nobody does that without, without having something in mind now. You're always suspicious. But then, if you're so curious to know, why don't you try and find out who it is? I, I think so. You know, maybe I'm sick of admirer of something, but maybe a very generous one at that. Well, he be this. He's coming after the wrong person. Let's change his way. I beg you. You're always suspicious. You have to do something. Do I know you? But I know you. Sandra Okoye. You and your friends, Evelyn, Ubu, and my favorite, Favor Ndigwe. You all are in class 4 say. Well, sorry, pardon my manners. My name is Solomon Kachi, but my friends call me SK. <laughs> well, SK, how come you know about my friends so much? Small word, Sandra. Besides, when the heart is willing, it has thousand ways. Well, let me go straight to the point. You see, Sandra, I like Favor very much, and I would like her to be my girlfriend. If you love Favor and you want her to be your girlfriend or whatever, I want to go to Favor. I am not Favor. Come on. Sandra, come on. We all know a girl is likely to fall for a guy if her friends approve it. It is an old saying, you know that? <laughs> you don't understand. Favor is a born again. I mean, her dad is a pastor. And she, 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 she doesn't... Sandra. Inside this envelope is 3,000 Naira. Share it with Evelyn. Take Favor out. Speak favorably about me. And I promise you, if everything should work out accordingly, you girls will no more pay your bills in this school. Trust me. <laughs> okay. Don't worry. Okay. I'll I, I see what I can do. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's been four hours away and mommy hasn't sent the money she promised me. Maybe she forgot. You never can tell. My birthday? Impossible. Mommy can't do this to me now. Listen, girl. There is always a first time. Besides, who knows? A miracle might just happen. Yes, come in. Good afternoon, seniors. Yeah, please. Yes, can we help you? Please, who is senior favor? I am. This is for you. Hey, this team. What, what was this? Who sent it? I don't know, but I'm only delivering a message.
am confused. <coughs> What's happening now? Confused, you say, favor. You should be thanking God for this miracle. I mean, you're still confused after all this. At the eleventh hour. Take five thousand naira. Just to you. Whether it is must be very good, generous and wonderful. I agree with you. Ah. So after all, your birthday is going to hold. Oh, I am so happy. Baby, I am so, so happy. Hold. I love you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Sorry if I startled you. You see, Favor, I really can't help it. The, the truth is that of recent, I developed this keen interest on you. And I have been watching you closely. You see, you, you special in a lot of ways. Really? Yeah. That is why a special girl like you should be treated specially. And you shouldn't be paying a cobble in this school. A down. All your bills will be taken care of. And favor. I I want you to be my girlfriend. Really? How touchy. I've been dying to meet this very generous person. Who always pays my bills even before I incurred it. Sends me presents and money. So it's you. Yes, it's me. I hope you like them. Thank you very much. But I no longer need your money. Look for those greedy cheap girls you can buy with money and presents. Goodbye. And repent because God loves you. <laughs> Well, for now. Favor said I should repent. We're not too much now. Relax. She let me be a skin. I'll be over this school. coming together when your friend Favor here blasted that guy SK off. Mm. Look Favor, the way you treated that guy was totally unfair. I mean, for a guy who has shown you nothing but care and kindness, I think it deserves a better response from you. Sandra! I can't believe I'm hearing this from you. It's obvious. The guy wants something, that was why he did all he did. And I had to put him in his place. But that was rather harsh. Don't you think so? Girl, this is a sign of ungratefulness on your part. And listen to me. I think it's high time you keep all this suspicious guard down. This thing, mix with people. Meet them, oh, trust me, and you will enjoy people better. Really? Yes, really. Faithful. It will be surprising to you that I know this guy. His name is Sun. 
escape the shot. His parents are super rich and he lives off dormitory at number two Aja Street. Evelyn! That guy is really generous, gentle and intelligent. His generosity goes to several students in his school. I never knew he was the one sending all these gifts. People like him are very brave to come back. Please tell her again! So you see, and the popularity he enjoys among his mates is because of his giving attitude. Really? Oh. Yes, really. So you see, girl, you don't try at all, no. You don't try. <laughs> 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 Please come in. Come in. Hi, SK. Hi. Please come in. Welcome. Thank you. Favor. Thanks. Welcome. Thank you. Please make yourself comfortable. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Sandra. What will I offer you girls? I have juice, malt, salt, anything. Oh, juice will be fine. I'll be right back. Okay. It's a nice place. Really? I think so. It is. Thank you very much, Eski. So how is everything? Man, I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh, please, Eski. Where can I use myself? I'm pressed. Yeah. Oh, okay. Just follow this door. Okay. Yeah. Go to your left. Okay. You see the toilet. Alright. Excuse me. Yes. You don't know how happy I am to see you. I'm, I'm so sorry for being unnecessary hash and rude to you the last time. No, it's normal. I never expected it to be easy. And you, you always look tough. And that is why I like you very much. And so, Vivo, what about, what do you say about what I told you the last time? I don't know. Remind me. Come on. My request for you to be my girl. I... I... Vivo, see, ever since I set my eyes on you, I have not, I have not been able to, to, to think straight again. Everything about you blow my mind. Your intelligence, your grace, Everything. I love you. Favor. Yes. Close your eyes. I want you to close your eyes. Why? Come on. Just close your eyes. Favor. Huh? Please, Favor. I don't know. She ran out. What do you mean, don't know? That was how we started dating until when it happened. Problem. Why this worried look on your face? SK, we need to talk. Talk about what? 
I have not seen my period for some time now and I've been to the hospital for some treatment and the doctor confirmed that I'm, that I'm three months pregnant. Is this a joke or something? No, it's serious. I'm, I'm pregnant for you. Pregnant for who? Me? You are mad! You stuck, raving, mad! It's key! But, come to think of it, we did it once, and you really come to see me. So how come? Oh, you want to use someone else's pregnancy to trap me, eh? No. A favor? No. Get out of my house. Okay. I said, get out okay. before I beat no. that bastard out of you. Get out before I beat that bastard out of you. Out. Get out. Get out. How can I stand in the pulpit and preach morals when my own daughter got pregnant outside outside marriage? Nanny, I'm sorry. Oh, you will be sorry. You will be very, very sorry for, 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 for this disgrace you want to bring upon me, upon my ministry. Nanny, please. <laughs> <laughs> Favor, Jay, what have we done to deserve this from you, Reverend's daughter? Break that. Favor, you have killed us. You've killed me. You've killed me. I'm sorry. Mommy, I'm sorry. Jay. I've worked out throughout the years. About to lose. Why? What is it? Talk to me now. You're killing me. You're killing me. Talk. What is it? My child has killed me. My boy has killed us. What has they done now? Talk to me now. You are killing me, what is it? What has said about you? Fever is pregnant. How? She again. Oh God. Ah! Who is responsible? Who? <laughs> this is this is a two million naira question. Hmm. The person she called denied the responsibility. Huh? Harriet, my daughter is pregnant out of wedlock. This gets out to the public. Hmm. It will ruin our reputation. It's true. It will destroy our style. It will also affect the church severely. How would members of the church see us? How would the Christian family look at us? Pastor and his wife. Oh, she she's taking me. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. 
Eh? Just take it easy. See, the way you are going now, you, you are heading towards nervous breakdown. How can I take it easy? Where the practice is destroying everything. No. I've decided to terminate the pregnancy. No. God forbid. Temptation. Temptation. Rita, a woman of God. No. No. I cannot sit down and allow you plunge yourself into such terrible sin. No. This is against all the things you've taught in all women conventions. That pregnancy cannot be terminated. See, children are gifts from God. They bring happiness. This one is a curse. It's still in the wound. It springs so much unhappiness and pains. I can't keep this one. It must go. God. Mm. Uh, Rita, I have a suggestion to make. Eh? Are you listening to me? Rita, listen. We can actually send her to a distant place. Yes. See, I can send her to my village home. Take care of her there until she delivers her baby. Nobody will know. Then she can come back. That pregnancy must not be terminated. Can you do it? Of course, yes. What are friends for? Yeah? See. Uh, uh, uh. I will, I will take care of her until she gives back to the child. Eh? Then we will come back. Nobody will know. And then I will take care of her. I will raise the child. Then she can go back to school. Keep the baby. Take it. I just want my daughter to be in one piece. Uh, okay. Uh, I have to discuss this with my husband. You don't need to worry, eh? We can always have any such thing. We stand together in union of spirit, soul, and purpose, and make this covenant before ourselves and before the Lord that Clifford and his wife Herietta will take care of favor until she is delivered of the baby safely and thereafter take the child and raise it as their own and we have relinquished all right of him or her to them forever. We make this covenant in spirit and soul through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Favor delivered of you in the country home of Mr. and Mrs. Clifford and they took custody of you and raised you up. That is the whole story, my son. Please, my son. I am sorry for failing to assume my responsibilities on you as a mother. Please forgive me. Please. Please forgive me, Bishop. I don't mean to sound rude, but I wish to be left alone right now. I know, I know. What Get out of my office! Get out! Please, please forgive me, Phyllis. I'm your true mother, please. Please forgive me, Daddy. You have the right to be angry. You don't have the strongest idea of what it means to be angry. You don't. Please. I beg all of you to leave my office now. No, you can't go. Look into my eyes, Billy. I'm your mother. Get out. Mm-hmm. <laughs>
Are you telling me to go? Look at my son standing there. Daddy, help me. You are home early today. What is it? What is it? Who am I, mother? What do you mean by that? You are my son. Look me deep into my eyes and tell me who is my real mother. Calm down. Who is my real mother? Okay, come on. Let's go inside. I don't want to go inside. Did you hear me? Just tell me what I need to know. Tell me. Who is my real mother? It's okay. Let's go. Go. My son, I gave you life when they wanted to take it away from you. When they felt bringing you into this world would bring disgrace and dishonor to their family. As for Rita, she felt you are a curse. And so we went into a covenant with them for us to keep you forever. So. And you think I don't have the right to know the circumstances are holding my birth? Did you? I... I had always known that one day I would tell you. But I was waiting for a time when you will understand. Please. I'm 24 years old. And I'm a doctor. I know what giving life and taking is all about. And you think I would understand? God. Please, my son. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. When an enemy stops you at the back, he hurts. But when he comes for someone you love most, so you love most in this world? Accuse. Accuse, mother. Yes, they wanted to kill me. You saved it. Good. But it's just waited 24 years to take it back from me. With one lie. Just one lie. Stay away from me. Let go of me! Let go of me, mother! 
Let me tell you something. No mother will do what you have done to herself. No mother. Leave me alone, mother. I can't be my Just leave me alone. Go away from me. in front of you is massive. Really massive. And you have to think deep. Yes. Nobody can advise you in this situation. It's your own decision and yours alone. But the Bible said that wisdom is profitable to direct. Philip, I, I know how you feel. Honestly, I do. But you don't have to bury yourself before your death. But I promise you one thing. And what is that? I'll stand by you. Baby, you have to eat. The food is getting cold. Full of mysteries and doubts. I 
can ever feel is mine. This is all I feel. I can't believe my eyes. I can't I'm like I'm not taking it anymore. I can't this take is the it. highest offense. Oh, this is all this I feel. I can't believe my eyes. I'm like I'm not taking it anymore. This is the highest offense. Good day, Doctor. Doctor, your mother called downstairs. She said she has been calling your line and you're not picking. I don't talk anymore. Do you don't. mind coming downstairs to pick the call? I don't want to talk to anybody. Doctor, I said your mother... Doctor, I said I don't want to talk to anybody! Okay, Doctor. Eunice. Yes, Doctor. I'm sorry I screamed at you. I understand it. Let me call the barrister's office. All right, I'll see you soon. Hello? Is that barrister Dogo's office? Where has he gone to? Okay, let me try his private number. Didn't you get him? He's not a seat. Hello, Marisodogo. Yeah, this is horrible. Visit. Yeah. As regard to my stepson. No, 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 you don't have any problem. Everything is in order. In fact, I have sent some junior counsel to the field to get us materials for your case. You don't have any problem. Everything is in order. Oh, that's wonderful. Okay, okay. Okay, look, Barrister, do anything that you can do. I'm traveling to Abuja this evening, but I'll be back in two days' time. Yeah, I can assure you, I can assure you, we are going to get justice instant. Of course, yes, yes. Okay, okay, okay. Speak to my wife. Please. Hello. Hello, Barrister. Yeah, madam. How are you? Yeah, I've already briefed your husband in respect of the matter. Everything is in order. As far as we are concerned, there's no problem. We have a case. Very good one. Barrister, please, I want my son back. Yes. I don't care if this case is going to the Supreme Court. I am ready all the way. I want to sue Mrs. Henrietta for the custody of my son. Okay, okay. All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. I want my son back. He's my son. more to it. There is more. <laughs> there is more. This is a court summons. They are suing us for the custody of Philip. No. They can't do this to me. <laughs> they can't do this to me. Oh. They can't take my son away from me. Oh. 
God! Kim! You will let them do this to me! You will let them take my son away from me! Well, I have briefed the lawyer on this. He says we are working on a very thin rope. But then, we must do everything possible to keep our safe. The most important thing for us to do now is to take our case to God. He is the God of justice. I am sure he will judge this matter right Appearing for the defense. Very well. Could both counsel approach the bench, please? Counsel, I want to make this case quick, hitchy, and conclusive on time. I will not tolerate any of you trying to divert the attention of this court from the business of dispensing justice in order to buy unnecessary time. Are you clear? As court, we got this. Lastly, this is a very passionate case, as you can see. I will not condone any brouhaha or any kind of pandemonium in my court. So I will advise you to warn your clients to maintain law and order in my court. Or I will not hesitate to hold them in contact should they violate this court. Is that clear? Please, could you tell the Honorable Court the kind of agreement entered into? Before we agreed to take up the upkeep of favor, while she was still pregnant, we had a covenant with our parents, though verbal, but with strong spiritual implications. 
in which we agreed that the child, when it is born, well, whatever the sex, will belong to us forever, as long as Tevo's pregnancy was not made known. In other words, there was no written agreement whatsoever. And the label back in attach to that written agreement. There was none. No. Speak louder to the hearing of the court. There was none. Lastly, during this spiritual covenant or whatever you call it, was my client, Mrs. Fibo there? Yes, sir. Yes, no, she was not there. But you mean the poor girl carrying this pregnancy? in which a spiritual ag agreement was alleged, was not present at all in such a meeting. Not at all. Objection, my lord! The counsel is bantering the witness. She has answered this question with, simply with a no. The lord, it is important to establish that my client, Mrs. Febo Ike, was not present at all in the same meeting and as such any agreement reached in that meeting was not binding on her such agreement is null and void and of no effect whatsoever objection lord my learned friend here is badgering my client to make a slip in her testimony in order to find an opening against us my lord i find it shocking to understand why this honorable court is entertaining a case, the key factors of which borders on the custody of a child without any written document. Objection, my lord. For God's sake, my lord, court's judgments are based on written documents, real evidence, and material facts. Objection, my lord. One of them is present in this case. For God's sake, my lord, this case is merely hanging on a spiritual covenant. Objection, my lord. It's a close case. Counselors, counselors, counselors. If you both do not sit down right now, I will hold you both in contact of the court. Sit down. In view of the prevailing tension and other factors in the courtroom right now, I wish to call for a one hour recess. All right. Oh! How are we doing, Barrister? Honorable, I'm afraid not too good. But then I'm thinking... What is it, Counsel? What is it? It's a long shot in the dark. It might hit what we're trying to protect. On the other hand, if we're lucky, it might be the light that will lead us up to victory. What do you have in mind? You just wait and see. Bishop? As a man of God, you do know the importance of a spiritual covenant or agreement and its implications if broken. Objection, my lord. This question lacks relevance to this case. My lord, he is a man of God. It's important for us to know the kind of agreement he entered into with my client from his own point of view. Yes, I do. What are the implications, sir? Well, we risk the wrath of God. Bishop, you are willing to risk the wrath of God with all its devastating effects? For the simple reason that you want to retain the custody of a child, you willingly gave away to my clients. Honorable and Mrs. as the number. For life. According to the agreement you entered into. Well, I am not the one suing for the custody of the child. My daughter is. And um, she wasn't part and parcel of the covenant. 
and I think she has the right to see for the custody of the child. How old was your daughter when you entered into this agreement? She was around 16, 17. Mm -hmm. My lord, at that age, she was still under parental guidance. And any agreement en entered into on her behalf, with or without her consent, was and still is binding on her. Objection, my lord. Council is battering this witness and leading this honorable court into relevant issues. Lord, I repeat, I find it difficult to understand why this honorable court should entertain a case, the key factors of which border on the custody of a child without a written document and legal backing or legal process. The Lord, I shall urge the honorable court to strike out this case for want of merit. Objection of Aru. Counsel, do you have any further questions for the witness? My Lord, I have no further questions. However, I would like to point out the fact that the man in the middle of this case, Dr. Philip Ezedinamba, is not in court, and his presence is relevant to the defense. I am therefore praying, my Lord, for the court to, for the court to move an adjournment and for a summon to be sent to Dr. Philip as the number to appear in court in our next sitting. My Lord, in the absence of any further question from my client, I will ask the Honorable Court most respectfully that he stand out. By the way, both counsel shall approach the bench, please. I am inclined to grant the defense witness his wish to give a broader perspective to this case. As far as the court pleases. You may go back to your desk. In view of the prevailing circumstances surrounding this case, I am adjoining this case to the 15th of this month and I wish a summer to be sent to the boy in dispute. The case is adjoined. All right. Court! It's like somebody is at the gate. And who should I be? I don't know. Are we expecting anybody? Are you expecting anybody? Nobody, nobody, not at all. Okay. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Welcome, madam. Madam Harenta. Why do you want to take sunshine from my life and bring darkness upon me? Just consider this. Do I truly deserve this? After I took shame and disgrace from you and brought... And Madam Hereta, Madam Hereta, please. I need my son back. Is that too much to ask for? If you had aborted that child then, where is the son you people will desperately want now? Please, favor. You are still young. 
You can always have another child. But as for me, Philip is the only one I have and can ever have. Please, people. I want my son, please. Son. Madam Hereta, Madam Hereta, please. I quite appreciate all you've done for Philip, okay? Honestly, I do. But, but then, as you need him, so, so do I need him too. I don't have any other child other than Philip. I am ready to compensate you for whatever it is you've done for him. I mean, just mention To hell with your useless bloody compensation! I want my son! I want my son, therefore! I want my son! Let's go, Auntie. I want my son! Let's go. Let's go, Let's go, Auntie. Let's go. I want my son, Baba, please help me. Don't do this to me, please. I swear by the Almighty God. I swear by the Almighty God. That the evidence I shall give in this court. That the evidence I shall give in this court. Shall be the truth. Shall be the truth. The whole truth. The whole truth. And nothing but the truth. And nothing but the truth. So help me God. So help me God. Young man. Could you tell this honorable court your name? My names are Tochuku Philip. Is the number? And how old are you? I am 24 years old. Could you tell this honorable court your occupation? I am a doctor. Though still in my internship. My lord. According to law, and since this young man has gotten up to the age of 24 years. He is free to make his own decisions and also bear the consequences for his actions. Objection, my lord. Counsel is misleading this witness and the entire court. Objection of our Counsel, please. Can you make your points clear? My lord, my point is very simple. Since the young man is above 18 years of age, the court cannot decide which family he goes on with. That decision, my lord, is exclusively his to make. He is a young man, and he is free to make his own choices. Thank you, my lord. Where is this man taking this case to? Well, he's my son, and will always come back to me. Yes. After due consideration of both counsel's argument, I wish to call for an hour recess. All right. Call! For the first time in my life, I am so afraid. I am between the devil and the deep blue sea. And in my very young life, I am asked to make a decision that will change my life forever. Yes, um, if life is to choose between good and evil, life will be very easy. Yes, because one can easily tell what's good from evil. But the true test of wisdom is to choose the lesser of the two evils. The lesser of two evils. Please, my son. 
I am sorry for failing to assume my responsibilities on you as a mother. Mrs. Henrietta is the number was the first face I saw. She is the woman that gave me love. I will never forget that. This I promise you. But blood they say is thicker than water. Mrs. Favor Ike is my mother. My biological mother. Nothing can change that. Not even me. In the face of malfriend treasures, you gave me life. That is beautiful. But your parents considered me as a shame and disgrace to your family. And they gave me out to two most wonderful people in this world. The people who gave me life and loved the people who loved me and gave me love in abundance. Your Honor, I am the son of Mr. and Mrs. Eze Dinamba. And this I remain for the rest of my life. great landmark in the history of judiciary in this country. Bishop and Reverend Mrs. Indigwe, with respect to your status as servants of God, you are both the architect of your daughter's misfortune. Because of your desire to safeguard material possession and your reputation, your daughter is paying a price much higher than that. And now my ruling. The boy, Philip, will henceforth be known, called, and addressed as Philip is the number. Let the riches. And let it be done. The case is closed and right.